good evening one and all welcome to my video in this video i'm going to be talking about four ways to do pagination or scrolling in elastic search so little, little bit about myself for people who are watching me for the first time my name is somil shah i work as a software engineer at job target uh, i completed my uh, double masters in electrical engineering and computer engineering so these are the ways in which you can connect me through github linkedin blog youtube etc let's begin the tutorial guys so for this tutorial i'm going to be using uh, the very famous uh, data set that is the netflix data set which i'm running it on the, my local machine right here you can see i have a very simple um, so i'm going to be teaching you four ways in which you can do uh, pagination in uh, elastic search so you get the data right now let me talk about the pagination so the first thing that you can do is first of all let's import all the libraries and module we make sure that we are connecting to the local host so the first thing what we do is basically we define a query now uh let's do a uh, scrolling so elastic search offers a built in scrolling method so for people um who want to use it you can just say scroll equals to 2m that means the scroll result would be stayed for 2 minutes size basically means how many records you want in each scroll and then you would give it the query so once you have that it will give you a scroll id and you can keep scrolling through it i have a simple while loop which demonstrate that so it can scroll up to 427 pages so that many records were there so every page it gives you 10 10 results 10 results 10 result i have a very nice example here the code is there you can check it on my blog another example what about elastic search is something like this so uh, what you can do is basically the idea goes like this we need to map a page number and we will divide the search into parts now okay what do i mean by that say we have a size of 500 records we let's say we go, we got 1000 json records what i will do is basically i'll define an algorithm or basically i'll define a hash map so basically page 1 so the keys are the page number the values is a list of documents so page 1 is basically from 0 to 10 page 2 becomes 10 to 20 page 3 becomes uh yeah 30 to 40 and so on so basically i have to write a mathematical formula to do such kind of activity so what you can do is basically i had a simple formula i develop a function so let's say step is basically your size so you query 500 documents and then basically you create a hash map so here you can see hash map so start index end index this is a formula data start index to end index so i'm stripping it off so what this will do is basically every time um, uh, if you say page number 1 it's going to give you the first 10 records if you give the hash map the value 2 it's going to give you the second values so you basically create a, a dictionary of key value pairs interesting right that's so another method method 3 basically what you can do is you can use the from keyword so let's say you want the first 10 records so you would say hey from 0 to 10 the next time you what you do is you update the from to the 10 number so the next time if you see i update the from to 10 so this way also works the query stays the same all you would do is basically dynamically update the from uh, key value pair so that's how you can also mimic pagination in elastic search the fourth and the last method um, the fourth and the last method is basically uh, the search after query it's pretty new uh, right now in elastic search so it's a little uh, complicated to um, explain you it's a, it's actually easy what you can do is basically uh, instead of giving the from keyword here um, sorry for that I have a mistake there. What you would do is basically uh, you would search a document. Let's you do you do a normal search, right? Then you would create your own scroll ID. So basically, we'll write a function that creates our own scroll ID. So I have a function here which creates a scroll ID, right? So if you print it, you can see it's something like 0.0, and then it gives you the scroll ID. Now the logic is basically this ID here is basically the last record in your basically last record in your elk stack. I mean, what I'm saying is whenever you do a request, let's say you have I don't know like 100 records so the last like I mean when you say size is 10 so it's going to give you only the, the 10 records so the last id would be the 10 so i need the id of the 10th person so i'm going to take that and i'm going to take a score and i'm going to combine that into a scroll id and then what i do is basically the whenever you go, go to the next page at the next page what you would do is basically you add the search after keyword in the query and you pass the score and scroll id so this is how it looks like the same query but now you have a search after So this tells Elasticsearch, hey, search all the documents, but after the tenth person. So the first ten, so the, so zero to nine will be skipped. So it's going to show you from ten to twenty since the size is ten. So from ten to twenty, and then you again create a scroll ID. So the next scroll ID would be the nineteenth person, the ID of the nineteenth person record. 
so this is also a ni- another way to do it uh, I-, i had a small typo in my blog uh, so the size is 10 so all the code all the snippets are in the description section below um, it's there on my blog as well uh, uh, let me show you so if you go to the pythonista that's my blog i have everything here hope you would enjoy this uh, tutorial and a session on pagination and scrolling these are the four ways in which you can do pagination or scrolling in elastic search let me know if this tutorial was useful or the code snippet was useful uh, and if you have any more additional questions you can list your additional questions in the comments and i would be very happy to assist you once again thank you for watching and see you in the upcoming tutorials goodbye